Hey guys, it's Skeleton here, and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft video. This is going to be a redstone tutorial on how to make what I like to call a flip flop observer. Uh, uh, it's a mouthful, a flip flop observer block. It's very, very quite simple. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the demonstration. So, as you can see, this light is on, so that means that it is sending a um, redstone current. So if we just set the time tonight real fast, like, or actually set time to 1-800, you can see the light turns off, which is really quite cool. So how that actually works is there's a daylight sensor on top of this sticky piston, which powers it, pushing this block down in front of this observer block, then sending a, uh, a current, uh, a very slow, slight current to this redstone torch here which makes this pullback um, which this guy uh, retrieves the cauldron and then it powers this because there's water inside of the cauldron and then it um, puts power into this block which then lights up um, this redstone lamp here so if we go ahead and set time today you can see it in work now it actually changes this um, this thing right here to what's it called uh, to be on. Anyways, we can also change it just like this. So this is another way to make a switch out of it. Let's just have that. So you can do like some really cool secret doors and whatnot. Um, and speaking of doors, I'm just going to go ahead and show you one right now. Like so. so. As you can see, it's open right now. And if it were to be night, so all the zombies would come. We could just switch up this and it would close itself, which is quite cool. And then in the daytime, it would once again open. And it's really neat. So let's just go ahead and go on into a tutorial. Uh, all the credit goes out to Mumbo Jumbo for this right here, or at least I'm pretty sure he is the creator of it. I just added the observer block, and this is the only two things that I added. But, um,. Anyways, so what you're going to need for this uh, for this build is this right here, just for the regular one. The bottom's just for, for this one right here, which uh, how it works is you place on a block and it will turn on that. And then if you get rid of the block, it'll make it turn off. So just for that one, you're going to need this stuff right here. You don't need the redstone lamp. We're just going to use it as a demonstration to show where the redstone um, or where the power is going to. You can just put like a uh, like a redstone dust right here and then lead it off somewhere and do something like what we did with this door. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So what you're going to need to do first is place an observer block facing um, away from you, which will then put its current facing this way. Next, you're going to get a redstone repeater and set it to three ticks like so. Then you're going to get a block and set a, a torch on top of it with the redstone piston facing you. And then you're going to go ahead and go up here and do a redstone piston going straight up. You're going to place a cauldron on this piston here. Fill it with water. Place a block right here and a block right here. You're going to lead a comparator going away from uh, this piston right here. And then you're going to put your power source, whatever you want it to be. So we're just going to stick a red redstone lamp for this instance right here. So this is where the power is always going to go to, is right here, this block right here. So you could do like a, um, a redstone repeater. Well, would it work with a repeater? I don't think it would. But you could do it with, let's get some redstone dust real fast, like so. And then you could do it like that. And so if we come over here and place our block right there, it will turn on that redstone lamp. And if we get rid of it, it should turn off that redstone lamp. So very quite simple. Um, uh, and how to make the second one is also uh, very, very quite simple. All you have to do is place a, hold on, let me just build up a little bit more. Place a piston facing down right there with a block on it and then you're gonna go ahead and get yourself um, a daylight sensor and just stick it on top of there 
And as you can see, it does that. And if we if we change it to night, then it gets rid of it. Day, night. So very simple. And yeah, that's the tutorial. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, uh, go check out Mumbo Jumbo's channel because he's the one that made this whole this whole creation right here. Um, I just added this stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, it's been Skeletor. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.